There we go. Hello, everybody. My name is Regular Game Rocks. Welcome to Greetierum. This is a Thanksgiving themed horror game I found at itch.io. That's made by uh, Vidos Games. That name might sound familiar because I played one of her games just recently. The Insomnus Experiment, which is which was a horror game based on uh, this Russian sleep experiment, Creepypasta. Very fun game. Very fun. So I heard they made a Thanksgiving themed game. Of course, I'm going to try it out. I am recording this on Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, because I didn't actually do any recordings on Thanksgiving Day because, well, I was spending time with my family. <laughs> but this will probably be uploaded, so you guys will probably be seeing this on Saturday morning. Yeah, Saturday morning. So I don't think it's too late for our Thanksgiving horror game. Uh, okay, normal instructions. Always look at options, full screen, subtitles, yep. If not, it's good. Let's check out this Thanksgiving themed horror game. How was y'all's Thanksgiving? Mine, mine went a lot better than I expected. Coming in just a few days, and Christopher got into another fight with his family. Oh no, not Christopher. Fight more often than other families, and Christopher in there. is always wrong in their eyes. Oof. Let's meet some other relatives. Store to get all of the food for the celebration. As he went inside, the floor felt cold, and the building empty. Jesus, me and some of my uncles and aunts. <laughs> okay, well, let's get some Thanksgiving food. I can't wait to get this over with and to have them off my back. What's even the point of celebrating anything if I'm just going to be screamed at for every little thing? Well, whatever. I'm True. Lucky. True, I mean, if your family's not... If things not going well with your family, then... Maybe we just shouldn't participate for Thanksgiving. You know, let them fend for themselves. I don't know where the turkey is. Where's the meats? Where's the meat aisle? I see fruits and other items. More uh, fruits, I think. Best lemons. But we're not here for lemons. We're here for the... Turkey. The distance and felt relieved. Oh, they're not sold out after all. All right, this shouldn't take too long then. He thought, and at that moment, someone else entered the store. Okay, never do any shopping, even two or three days before Thanksgiving. No, it is chaotic. People trying to buy like the last things they need for Thanksgiving at the last moments. It is way too chaotic. No, I always we always get our stuff like a full week before Thanksgiving itself, you know. Man, that turkey already looks like it's been cooked. Was it me? It was a turkey. OK, maybe it actually was a turkey. Turkeys, potatoes, of course, gravy, green beans, corn, Ugh. cranberry sauce, pumpkin pie. For our skin, we had a turkey, a green bean casserole. Um, what else was it? This like sweet potato puree looking thing. It would have been better if it was yams instead, in my opinion, but that's just me. Oh, what else? Mac and cheese and grandma brought uh, like this pecan pie. Nah, it wasn't pie. It was a pecan cake. Kind of thing. So overall, not a bad meal. But turkeys are not supposed to be bleeding out. That's not good. Hey, yo, that's also um not good. You know. Oh boy. Hello. You do you have no arms? You're not even human. You are very much not a human. You are not a human. Am I being attacked by a turkey? <laughs> wait, wait. Okay, I just realized the long neck, the beak. Am I being attacked by a turkey? Is this like a half human, half turkey creature? It's a human turkey hybrid. Who disappeared in a mirror. The stranger in the store was a weird one. Christopher couldn't see him, but he could feel someone approaching. It wasn't sudden either. Small steps that you wouldn't pay attention to unless it was right in front of you. 
When I hear the name Christopher, I instantly think Christopher Robin from uh, Winnie the Pooh. I don't know where I'm trying to go now. Oh, I'm trying to find items, aren't I? Potatoes. Where, where's the spuds? Need to get potatoes. What's this? Corn? Gotta get that corn. First, I would have got some sweet corn. Even the corn's bleeding. What happened to the corn? Green beans, gravy. I'm just going to keep looking around until I find some of these items, you know. I'm listening out for footsteps, but I'm not really hearing anything. Can I even go through here? That's a no. That a drumstick? What is that? A drumstick? No, it looks like a bag of something. Oh, it's a bag of potatoes. Okay, it's a bag of potatoes. We got the potatoes. Barely any social life, and no money or hope to get out of it all. If that uh. has enough problems, he's also stuck in this dark, cold supermarket. And then he realized there's a voice in his head telling him his thoughts and actions. His flashlight turns off. His Are you kidding me? Stores walking closer. Hold up. Can he hear the footsteps? How could he? He's listening to the voice in his head. Yeah. What in the Stanley parable is going on with the voice in our head? Ooh, okay, I got all sorts of chills on my back. Uh, nope, 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 no, sorry, Bob, I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta get all of them. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Can't miss any. Christopher, just spend Thanksgiving by yourself or somewhere else if you need to. If your family's causing this many of issues, my friend, then it might be better just spend Thanksgiving by yourself. If I'm supposed to be listening to footsteps here, I'm not hearing any. But I'm worried about these, like, mirrors on the floor. I mean, mirror, mirror on the floor. Tell me, am I gonna die soon? <laughs> it's like going through a maze. Here we go. What's that? Gravy. Ah, oh, good gravy. That's what we need. Can't go wrong with some gravy. Aren't you natural? You know you got good gravy when it screams at you. Key? Christopher found a key. I might know where that's for. Keyword on might. I have an idea. There was that little locked little gate looking thing back at the area where we first found the turkey and... Hey, yo, free bird. You good? Nah, nah. You know what? We'll just have some pizza for Thanksgiving, you know? Like they did in the movie. I think we need to find a different route, you know? <laughs> uh oh, I don't think there is one, actually. Unless there's a secret door. Hit it on the wall! No. Eh, wanted to try it anyway. So, okay, I guess we do need to talk to the turkey. How's it going, friend? Am I about to die, or are we good? We good. Okay, we just got three more things. Green beans, cranberry sauce, and pumpkin pie. Let's take the key over to the little, uh, gate I saw earlier. Come 
Come on. It was over here to the right. Yes, right here on the left. Does it open this? Okay, I guess... I don't like what I'm hearing. But at least it's opening. Cranberry sauce? Cranberries! Cranberries. Every time I say cranberry, I actually think that old <laughs> commercial. You want a Sprite Cranberry? LeBron James. <laughs> I never did try any of those. I've never actually tried any of those during the holidays. After walking for some time with the sense of danger, Green beans, pumpkin pie. Thought maybe he should just leave with what he has so far. But it wasn't time to lock the door yet. The lights were getting dimmer. He didn't mind sitting in the darkness alone, though. But he wasn't. Not yet. Okay, we just need green beans and pumpkin pie. Pie and beans. Where's the rest of canned vegetables? Okay. Can you find them green beans and pumpkin pie? Is there a bakery section? That's just where we get our pumpkin pies. Because none of us really know a good pumpkin pie recipe. I guess I probably could try and find one online or something for us. For me and my family, I mean. But normally we just buy store-bought. Green beans! All we got left is the pumpkin pie. Gotta get that pumpkin pie. Fresh from the can. Once open, consume within three days. There it is! I'm okay, I don't need to breathe. Okay, yep, yep, that... Thank you for the heart attack. I just want my pumpkin pie. Can I not get my pie? I want my pie. <laughs> Time to lock the door, Christopher. Christopher got everything on the list. It's time to go home and prepare for the celebration. It's going to be a one this year. Okay, random voice in my head. This is like some Stanley Parable type of thing. I never trust these voices in our heads unless, well, it is our actual character's voice in his head. And not some demonic entity. Like what happened in a little misfortune. Ayo, hey, 10 items or less, my guy. We good? We good. I'm out. See ya. I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. See ya. Hold E to lock the door. And that was it. The police found Christopher all alone in his house. Neighbors heard the screams and did not hesitate to call for help. The door was locked, so they broke the front door to get in. And then what they saw was unforgettable. The food was nicely prepared on the big family table. Everyone was sitting in their seats so calmly like never before. No one spoke a word. No one complained. They couldn't even move a muscle of their still hearts. Christopher was finally free from all of life's problems. It was truly a great Thanksgiving. Okay, so for what I'm getting at here, is that Christopher, during his whole thing, the screams we were hearing whenever he grabbed the food signs was the screams of his family, because in reality, he was killing his family members. Wow, okay. That's quite the Thanksgiving. <laughs> but that was really well done. That was very good. That was very fun. Got some great scares in there. I love the little twist at the end there. I love that. Gave okay, some good scares and oddly enough, I think this might be the first actual Thanksgiving themed horror game I think I've ever actually seen. I mean, I've seen Thanksgiving horror movies. Well, old ones. I remember a few from like the 80s and 90s. But I don't think I've ever seen an actual Thanksgiving horror game. 
So this was really interesting. This was very fun. I like this a lot. Uh, Vitus Games, you guys make some really fun games. But well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe since it supports me in the channel. And if you guys have any gaming recommendations at all, do leave it in the comments down below. But till then, I'll see you guys next video. Stay awesome.